I focused with all the famous people around the war. I came finally to focus on some individuals, not so well known, not maybe not known at all. This is Dr. Edward Barsky, who was a surgeon in New York of a distinguished family of surgeons, but himself a communist, believe it or not. Barsky, and also ill with uh, colitis, Barsky volunteered for the war after raising a great deal of money for ambulances and then, then thinking, who's going to go over there? Putting together the supplies for a complete mobile hospital unit. And then it became obvious that he was the one who needed to lead this operation. So he went over. He participated in every way in the war. He did a, the kind of heroic surgery that people do in wartime, where the surgeon operates for 30 hours nonstop. Uh, and then collapses for a few hours and then goes back to work. Uh, he also came back to the United States from time to time to raise more money. What was am amazing to me is I found a cache of documents that had never seen the light of day, really, at New York University's Tamman Library, which has a large labor-related collection, including a complete book manuscript of Barsky's, a memoir 400 pages long that he wrote with the help of a woman journalist that was so brown with age that we couldn't even scan it. The type, typewriter type was, was barely darker than the, than the paper by then. This should have been published years ago. But one of the tragedies of the war is that people came back from the war with whatever stories they had to tell and within four months, the Second World War began in Europe, and it simply swamped out everything. And after the war, with the rise of McCarthy-esque anti-communism in the United States, Barsky was harassed by the House Un-American Activities Committee, found in contempt of Congress because he wouldn't give up the names of his comrades, thrown in federal prison for six months, and had his license lifted, medical license, for six months, and then got out and went right back to doing what he did so well. He participated in the civil rights movement in the South. He participated in the, in, in the protests against the war in Vietnam. He continued throughout his life to be the idealistic and dedicated man he was. But that is a book that really still needs to be published. And it was full of wonderful stories including the phrase that makes the title of the book. Barsky at one point in his memoir says, war is hell, with all of the metaphysical complexities of that word. But it's also damn good company. So hell and good company. Mm -hmm.